Hello, partiers. How are you getting on there at all, at all? Um, I'm back with a serial review. Much requested. Um, I got a little gift there uh, from 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 Grace, a good friend of mine. Uh, she brought me some some cereals to review. So we've got two here to review today. Uh, Lucky Charms, uh, which is an American thing, I believe. Um, and they've got a bit of uh, bastardization of Irish culture there on the front of it. And uh, Back to the Future, which is a thing I've never seen from the 80s. So, so those are the two series. Now, I'm going to have to pre-warn you. There's going to be a little bit of acting in this uh, episode of the serial review. Uh, because I have actually already opened these. Um, but I ran into a bit of a technical issue. Uh, that being that I hadn't turned on the camera at all. So... Um, just be aware of that, I have opened them, uh, they haven't been tasted, there's no light in the seat, uh, it's all above board here with myself, so, so we'll break into them anyway, uh, I think we'll have a go of the, the Back to the Future first, and, uh, then we'll, we'll move on to the Lucky Charms, um, so, uh, Back to the Future, let's get, let's get going with it, uh, a couple of people were saying they don't think cleaning the spoons in the middle is scientific, so I have two spoons, uh, the only variable being their different sizes. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, having a bigger spoon will affect um, my taste, but I, I, I don't think so. So let's pop into the back to the future. Oh, first to time opening it. Oh Jesus, that was hard to break the seal there. Um, so yeah, oh, into it there for the first time. Bag opening there, that. Jesus, that bag was hard to open there for the first time at all, at all. Jesus Christ. Right, so. We're into the bag now for the first time that I've ever been into it and I've ever seen the cereal. And the first impressions are, a bit of a smell, a bit of a sniff test here. Uh, very chocolatey, smells quite a bit like Nesquik um, and looks exactly like Nesquik. Uh, I don't know if you have Nesquik everywhere. It's the little bunny, it's the little balls and there's a picture of a bunny on the front of it. He's a sound lad. Um, so, yeah, load of calcium and the source of calcium and iron. Back to the future cereal if you're eating it all the time. I'm not positive um, what little balls of chocolate have to do with back to the future, but that's all right. So, a few of them in there now. We'll have a quick look at them. So, they look uh, pretty much exactly like Nesquik. Um, I think, in fact, they might be Nesquik. Um, so, yeah, wait till I show you the milk chalice. I kind of upgraded the milk chalice. Look. It's a little gravy thing. I put the milk in there now and it's attached to the, you can't take that plate off. That's just always on there, isn't that mad? I don't know if that's gonna be effective, but sure look. Jesus, I didn't even talk about the pouring angle. I'm getting ahead of me, it's a while since I did one of these. Pouring angle, very important. I like to take a 30 degree angle. Uh, always sort of mention this. I feel if I take a 30 degree angle, I have the maximum amount of control. Kind of control my own foam with the cereal coming out. And that's important to me as well. So, Jesus, I'm after losing one of them there. Um, right, so we're going to do the little pour now. Get in there to fuck you can't. Yeah, and that's the milk in there now. That's lovely stuff. Still smells exactly the same. No smell change with the milk. And we'll have a look at it there with the milk. So you can see now with the milk. Do you know what? I'm going to have to go, I'm gonna have to go rogue here. So you can see now with the milk. It's starting to take colour nicely. They're kind of, they seem maybe a bit darker than this quick. The chocolatiness are starting to come on them very quickly there. So, so yeah, that's the uh, milk element. One sec, I've got a little tripod. I'll turn the camera off while I was, uh, while I was putting it back in the tripod. That's all right, happens to the best of us. But I remember to turn it back on anyway. So, yeah, there it is in the bowl there. A little taste of it. Yeah, they're just Nesquik. Um, it's just exactly like Nesquik. It's the same thing. So, uh, Back to the Future. Um, it's just Nesquik in a Back to the Future box. Um, bit scummy of them. Is it made by Nestle? If it's made by Nestle, that's all right. Amblin Entertainment made it. Universal City Studios. They're not the ones making the series, are they? I don't know who's making it, but they're a prick. Um, they're just after stealing poor Nesquik's idea, so... They're nice though, because Nesquik are nice. So, yeah, they're nice. Right, so that was the Back to the Futures. Um, 
Now on to probably the more exciting of the two, Lucky Charms, which I understand is a huge thing in America, um, but we don't really eat them here, so this will be my first time trying them. Um, what are Lucky Charms? Uh, frosted toasted oat cereal with marshmallows, and there's a lot of different there's a lot of different shapes of charm that are lucky. So rainbows, uh, which are lucky. Um, hearts, horseshoes, a blue moon, of course, known symbol of luck. The four leaf clover, a unicorn, a red balloon, and what's that? Stars. The other one looks just it doesn't actually look like anything, but apparently that's lucky as well. So yeah, oat cereal with a load of marshmallows in it. Um for breakfast so that's a good idea um so this is made by general mills uh, i understand they're at the root of a lot of evil that's all right though uh, aren't we all um so first time opening the box jesus fucking cuntish to get into these seals oh, there i am into it now they're finally at last the bag oh will i be able to open it oh oh i'm in i'm in after much strife uh so now the first time i've opened this again um and we're going and we're going strong at it. Uh, so this smells like sugar, um, and I'm not going to be one of the typical uh, people who are not from America who try something from America and go, I would never eat that. That's disgusting. I'm a fat bastard. I'd eat almost anything. I bet I've ate like ten slices of bread in a row before with nothing on them. Um, I have problems. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna critique anyone who eats these. Trust me. Um, I'm a filthy sloth. So. They smell like sugar. I'm gonna admit they smell a bit sugarier than maybe what I'd been wanting for breakfast, but that's okay. I'm not judging anyone. Okay, 30 degree pouring angle on this again. Uh, my cat is creeping up behind me here, so he might get involved, but that's all right. Okay, they're going into the bowl, lovely. Um, the marshmallows, they look a bit big, if I'm honest. Uh, I've actually poured quite a large bowl there as well. Um, that was an accident, because I'm supposed to be not having a big bowl for the health reason. Um, yeah, the marshmallows look quite big. Maybe I should taste one of these by themselves. So this is, let's find the luckiest one. Um, oh, look, and a, a perfect representation of a unicorn. There it is there now. Doesn't that look exactly like a unicorn? Let's try that. It tastes a bit like candy floss. Um... It tastes a bit atrocious, I'm not gonna lie, it's not nice. The texture is horrendous. Um, it's like cement or something. It's very, I don't know, it's very harsh. Jesus Christ, I didn't palate cleanse. Okay, um, in the palate cleanser, uh, we have the elixir of destiny here. Uh, that's uh, my wadi, um, orange and pineapple. Yeah, but tro tropical, tropical vibes there as well. Um, uh, fun fact, this is my favourite flavour of squash, um, for anyone who wants to know a little fact about me. Palette cleanse that. I could have been completely wrong about what that marshmallow tastes like. So let's try a rainbow here. Rainbow here. Great joke. Very pretty. Um, got a good symbol of pride uh, for, for, for certain brethren. As uh, great joke, the rainbow, you kind of beat it. Pot of gold at the end. A lot of things are great about a rainbow. I can see why they've included it in the charms. Okay, so I'm gonna try it again. Post palate cleanse. And it's still shite. So, yeah, I can kind of see through, like, uh, even without the palate cleanse, I'd have a fairly discerning pat palate, so I'd be able to kind of, I'd be able to kind of work out, you know, I'm able to, I'm able to move the variables out of the way and just use the power of my palate. So let's pour a uh, milk chalice here. Uh, let's get the milk chalice going in there. Now, I feel like these marshmallows are going to lit need a little bit of time to kind of sit with the milk and, and absorb it. But we'll go for sort of a, a, a preemptive taste and then we'll wait about 30 seconds and we'll have another little go. And that should give us probably a better idea what's going on at all. So I'm just going to mix it in just so the marshmallows are all getting a little bit of milk fun. So it looks exactly the same. Uh, it's just now wet. So that's no real reason to take the camera out. Right. Oh no, the milk's starting to go a rake of different colours. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to take the whole tripod this time because last time I accidentally turned the whole the whole thing off. So there you go there now. You can see it's kind of, the milk's going, the milk's going kind of a horrendous blue colour that makes it look like I shouldn't really eat it. But i sure it's grand as bits of green and stuff. Very colourful. It's a very colourful um, ordeal. Okay, so I've completely fucked up the angle now. Oh, 
the cats are fighting. That's all right. Happens to the best one. Stop fighting you. I told you about it. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Right. It's all good now. They've worked it out. Okay. Lucky Charms. Uh, first go of them. Leave her alone. You're being a prick. Hey. Stop being a prick. I told you about being a prick. I'm trying to do a fucking serial review. You fuck off. Be nice. She did nothing to you. Sorry, they did a bit of a disagreement there. Just sorry. All you have to do is call him a prick and he's happy out then. Um, so, um, sorry, I didn't really taste because I was so busy dealing with the situation. So, first taste here. Even though I tasted it before. It's not nice. Um... I'll tell you what the issue is. Um, the marshmallows are fucking rotten. Um, the taste of them isn't nice. Um, it's shite, and it's t the t and the texture is awful. It's like sand. Um, I don't know what they soften a bit while they're in there. The milk's also got a color that makes it look like something you shouldn't be eating. Um, I feel like the marshmallows are too big. They're like Jesus. They're like it's like stuck in my throat. Um, they're, they're like way too big. Like they should be like half the size and there should be less of them. Um, the cereal itself, like the main oat, whatever they are, what shape are they supposed to be? They're supposed to be little pots of gold, I think. I know, they don't look like little pots of gold, but I think that's what they're meant to be. Um, right. Second test, I don't know. I didn't even fucking palicons. Jesus Christ. Okay, let me palate cleanse for my second test. And I'm going to use a fresh spoon because, Jesus, my odds aren't with me today at all. All right. New spoon. The marshmallows do taste better the longer they're in the milk, but... It's just not, it's not a nice cereal. I can't understand why these are a big thing in America. Like, they're not nice. So yeah, uh, that's my verdict on the two cereals. Um, these ones are not, are lovely um, because they're robbed from Nesquik. Um, so that's brilliant. They're nice, get them. I will buy Nesquik because they came up with it. And uh, these ones, um, I don't understand why anybody would want to eat these. Um, they're just not really that nice. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I understand there's a lot of varieties of these. Maybe one of them is nice. I don't know. This one, the regular, um, I would say don't buy it uh, because it's um, because it doesn't taste good. Okay. I um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I have been Garen. This has been the Milk Chalice. Um, this has been uh, this has been the Elixir of Destiny, my Wadi Corporation, Ireland Limited. Uh, make the best juices in town, and uh, this was the bowl and the spoons.